I'm not sure what to call this. Apple fritter cinnamon roll bake, apple fritter monkey bread, just something delicious. <laughs> Whatever you call it, you're not gonna wanna miss it. Hey everyone, it's Dorothy with crazyforcrust.com and welcome back to my kitchen. One of my most popular recipes all fall long is my apple fritter cinnamon roll bake, um, AKA apple fritter monkey bread, AKA apple monkey bread, so many different things to call this. It's basically Pillsbury cinnamon rolls with apples and that glaze, so good. For more delicious desserts and easy recipes, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Now let's get in the kitchen. Okay, I'm starting out with a can of Pillsbury Grand Cinnamon Rolls, and I've just, just one can of rolls, it's about five rolls. You're just gonna cut those into four to six pieces. And I've sprayed a um, nine inch pie plate with nonstick cooking spray, and I'm just spreading those in the bottom of the pie plate. Um, again, you can uh, double this if you want more. This makes about four to six servings, perfect for a smaller family or a smaller gathering. You, if you double it, use a nine by 13 pan. And then on top of that, we're making these apple monkey bread. So we're going to add apples and I've cooked, you can use any kind of apples that you want. Um, Granny Smith, Fuji Gala, Honeycrisp, whatever. I have cooked these with some cinnamon and about a tablespoon of brown sugar. You can just do that in the microwave and then stir in the cinnamon sugar or do it on the stove top, whichever you prefer. And then we're going to make that gooey brown sugary mixture that goes on the top of the monkey bread. So I'm gonna to mix together a third of a cup of packed brown sugar with five tablespoons of unsalted butter that's been melted and pour that all over the top of the rolls and the apples in the pan. And then just kind of spread it out just to make sure that it's completely coated. And then we're going to just bake this until it's cooked through. And once it is, then the cinnamon rolls came with that icing and we're gonna drizzle it all over the top. Now, I love making this in just a pie plate because it's just one can of cinnamon rolls. It's great if you don't, if you just have like four to six people that you wanna serve. If you're serving more, you can definitely double this recipe and make it in a nine by 13 pan. This is an epic breakfast or brunch um, for a holiday or for a special occasion or just because you really are craving cinnamon rolls and apples. Um, it's great for apple season when you're using up your apples that you have in season or it's just great because you absolutely love cinnamon rolls why not? Leave me a comment and let me know your favorite way to use Pillsbury cinnamon rolls and keep watching for even more easy breakfast recipes.